I mean, when I get most emotional about this business, is the fact that you have the capability to take charge of your life. So when you have freedom, you can do what you want to do. If you choose to be a, the type of person that's going to help people, and that's what you want to do, that's your mission in life. You're able to do that. You're able to do the things that you want to do the most. One of the things we chose to do was really to be a part of our children as they were growing up. And when they hit that level where they were playing sports, the baseball, the basketball, uh, I got excited about the prospects of being involved in their lives, not just from the positive aspect, but there's there's some there's some things that happen on the field that, that might not be all that positive and difficult for your kids, like your son dropping the ball in the right field and losing the game in the bottom of the seventh inning. But you know, when you're there to pick them up through those times and keep them close to you, they find out that you know what, there's ups and downs in life, and, and you know, mom and dad are there, they're there for them, and, and what we try to do is show them that we're part of their lives. We're there for them, uh, they can count on us, and uh, you know, that's been, I think, the biggest, the biggest plus that we've been able to enjoy is to be part of their lives. Them having the time to be at home and working from home has been huge for me. And my dad's been uh, the coach of all my sports teams, all my brother's sports teams. We've been able to play golf, go fishing, do a whole bunch of different things that, um, that my friends have not been able to do at that time, so it's been a lot. My parents' success in these things really helped me learn that I can get anything I want out of this life as long as I'm determined and motivated to work hard for it. And anything worth anything is a lot of work, and I've definitely learned that from my parents. My most memorable experience with my parents would be when I was a junior in high school, so 16 or 17 years old, had the opportunity to go to Japan for, uh, for the convention out there. And I really didn't have an idea of how big an impact this business had had on a lot of people's lives as a result of them introducing them, those distributors to the business. And, and when I went out there, I was able to see the large crowds of people and how excited they were about having this opportunity to get into a business like this. It, it changed my life. It's awesome that they're getting recognized for it, but more importantly, I don't, I don't feel them viewing me skin as much of a business or a job, it's more of something that they enjoy doing and they benefit so much from the relationships and friendships that they make that it's really great to see your parents enjoy doing what they do. Looking forward to the next 20 years, I couldn't be more excited. I absolutely love what we do, so I see ourselves doing this for the next 20 years and the most important thing is that I feel a responsibility to share this opportunity with the people that we care about the most because this lifestyle that we're living truly is a dream and it's attainable for everyone. I think about the future more than I think about the past. I think about what's in front of us uh, with this age lock platform and how broad uh, and how many lives we can touch with not just the business but with the products. Uh, this is big. The company's goal is to get to five billion in ten years. Uh, I think that's a small goal when you really look at the big picture. I think that it's much bigger than that. Uh, I think that we, as new distributors, have a bigger opportunity today than we've ever had in this business. I've said that before. I said, I know. I was thinking the same thing. You know, we have been around the block just a few years with museum. And every time when we fly in, I feel like we're home. This is a second home. And each and every one of you are a new skin family. And if you are brand new, how many of you, this is your very first event? Just, just clap. I feel like it was yesterday that I attended my very first event. Congratulations. I want you to understand that who this company is today is so much more than where we were way back when. And we were great way back when. But today you have one team global. You have System 7. You have unified leadership 
with the team elites and Blue Diamonds working together like no other company in history. It's not competitive amongst the leadership here. We are one team working together with a system to help each and every one of you as you get started. This picture of Matt and I, it's kind of funny. It was recent. We were with Ted and Eileen Williams right after this last team elite trip. And that is on the island of Capri. And we had a magical time on another one of the greatest beaches of the world. Because of this opportunity, we have had experiences and, and times with our family and this journey that I never could have imagined in anything. In my wildest dreams, never could have imagined. And is it because we have some special stage presence or we have some something more than anybody else in this room has. Absolutely not. I can tell you that the reason that we can stand up here as 19-year team elites and $20 million earners is only because of New Skin Enterprises. Only because of this company and their commitment to each and every one of us. And I can tell you some of my most special memories with this company are being in our living room Matt and I share the same birthday, if you didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, we have a birthday on the same day, we're two years apart. And our Japan group surprised us with a special gift. And they sang happy birthday to us in English. And we didn't even know that they knew it was our birthday. We have traveled, as we've said, all over the world. We have had experiences and memories um, because of this company. It's enriched our family's life. Um, I could share so many memories, but I want to back up because I want to talk to the person who is brand new and let you know that I had the same question marks and concerns and, and, and knowing, quite frankly, that this wasn't something that I could be successful with. So I said no to it. I didn't want to hear anything about the business side. Um, I was a name on a list. I went to that meeting, I rode my bike over, and I only did it because I knew I wasn't going to go back to that job. And I knew that he had extended my maternity leave. He was the CFO of the company, and it was the right thing to do. So when I showed up, I had no intention but I'll tell you, my sponsor brought credibility because he saw the vision and the power of where New Skin was going and the timing that we have today. And he quit a successful full-time career to do this full-time. And that brought credibility to it. But what he did in that presentation was show me the power of the business. He showed me the money and the compensation plan. Um, and he didn't understand who he was talking to. I was running a daycare business out of my home at the time when I left that company to be home with my kids and I knew Ronnie was a newborn and Justin was three and I knew I couldn't go back. And so I decided to open up this little school and I would run this daycare. I had eight children under three years old five days a week and he's telling me I can change my life with the power of this vehicle. I'm a teacher, I'm an educator. How can that be real? And most importantly, how can I do it? And since I couldn't see and understand that, I said no. And I thanked him for his time and I went to leave the room. And there was a woman in the back room and she, I don't know why they didn't have her out, her name is Deborah. And she came running out and she said, Risa, did they talk about the product? And I said, no, but I can tell there's some skincare here and I don't want to do home parties or home shows. And she said, no, no, no. This is a patented technology that has a unique ingredient philosophy and nobody else is doing it. And I thought, yep, that's what they all say. Uh, and she said, no, 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 I want to teach you about humectants versus oils. And she didn't have very long, but the concept made sense to my oily combination skin, and I rode my bicycle home with a bag of products. And I tell you that story because I think it's important 
that we realize that you never know where your next blue diamond or team elite is going to come from, right? You have no idea when you're speaking to somebody who's saying no to you, they don't understand it. Maybe they beat you up, right? They might say mean things. But if they want to use the product, that we have a responsibility that they have a great product experience and that we follow up and that we educate them. Because as the confidence grows in the product, that it can open their eyes to the power of the business. So to just speed this up a little bit, I can tell you that it took me a year to become an executive. You don't want to do that, especially right now with the timing that's going on with this company. Get your questions answered. But I was somebody that thought I knew it all. I didn't want to hear about the compensation plan until finally my sponsor said, Risa, you're already doing it. You need to submit this letter of intent. You need to uh, at least get paid for what you're doing as you share this product with people. Okay? So I did that. I became an executive. On my one year mark with the company, I decided to get on an airplane. It was the second time I'd been on an airplane in my life. First time was to college in Oregon, right? The second time was out here to Utah. I went by myself. I didn't know what to expect. And I saw what you're seeing here today. I saw a company committed to me. I saw leadership of all walks of life. It didn't matter their experience or background. And I saw that they could be successful. And at an event just like this, I knew our life would change. I knew that I had to have it. I felt like there was nobody else in these seats except me. And Blake Roney was speaking just to me. And I'll tell you what, on the shuttle, on the way to the airport, I said, I'm gonna become a blue diamond. All I need to do is show 12 other people how to become an executive. And somebody said, we well, have to put a date on it. Did you hear it in the meeting? You have to put a date on it. So I said, one year. I'm gonna become an executive in one year. And I went home and what happened? Nobody wanted to hear about it. Matt said, honey, I think that's a good idea. I support you. I think you should let go of your daycare business. Just don't spend any money and don't take any time away from me or the kids. But I really support you. <laughs> Great. Thank you, honey. Thank you. That's helps. My best friend in the world said that they doctored up the before and after pictures of Nutriol. And my mother said, honey, I know those things. I've been to those. I know, I know. <laughs> Nobody was going to support me. I want to tell you, if you have a skeptical spouse or you have friends and family that don't see it, or the person you know has the most potential, this is the secret. You decide, and you've heard it all You've heard it all weekend, you know, so far from everybody in a different way. But what's most important is that you sponsor yourself, right? This is about you. This is about what you see. It doesn't matter if you have three other people with you here today, and maybe they're not really seeing it. Maybe they're texting, and maybe they're doing something else, right? But you're here, and you see it. And what I learned very quickly was that all I had to do with Matt was show him the money, right? Show him the money, show him the money. But it was more than that. What I didn't really realize is that he had to see that I was happy and that I loved what I was doing and I was gonna do it with or without him. And then maybe some of you know the story. When the check started to jump, right? And it started going up there, all of a sudden Matt's going, okay, then how do I put my name on that check? <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that for a long time, right? I think we were qualifying Blue Diamond. And I said, you know what? We share our income, right? He was the provider of our family, but my name was never on his check. So I said, what if you go full time? And then it says Matt and Risa on the check. I'm going to tell you, we had a retirement party for Matt two months after that. It was June of 1990. Mm -hmm. He was, what, 30, 31 years old. Mm -hmm. And we retired him from traditional business from the corporate mm -hmm. <laughs> We had the beginning 
of our new school dream come true. So that is our oldest son, Justin, that you saw in the video. And that is our baby granddaughter, Sienna. Um, oh. She will be six months old on the 24th. And we couldn't be more in heaven. But I want to tell you a little bit about Justin. He's a go-getter. Uh, he has potential to do great things. He jumped into New Skin. He became a lapis in his first year in the business. And I was never happy than to be working with my son. Right? There's some stories to tell you with Justin. Uh, he loved the product. He uh, is magical when he talks to people. He has a belief in what we do. Uh, I'll never forget being in the backyard when he called me up and he said, Mom, um, you know I grew up on these products. You know I love them. I believe in them. But the truth is, I don't care about the products, really. I mean, I'm young. I'm pretty healthy. I don't have any weight to lose. My skin looks great. <laughs> I know you love the product, and, and I know the product's great. But I have to be honest with you, I, I, I really just don't care. And I'll never forget, I was standing on, my, on the grass in the backyard. We were on the phone. I said, Justin, what do you care about? Tell me what drives you. And he goes, your lifestyle, the money. My friends thought you guys were drug dealers. You were always home. Right? I'm inspired by your time freedom. Right? We talk about freedom in this business. And I said, honey, that's your biggest product. We do two things in this business. We share a product and we share an opportunity. And we never do one without the other. It's the balance of both. We are in the people business. We're in the relationship business. That's what we do. I love people. I love each and every one of you. And I know that you can have whatever success you set your sights on. It's gonna be a journey. It's not the destination. It's the journey every step along the way. Now I wanna tell you that Justin changed companies. He was doing new skin part-time and his company took over his time and energy, right? He was engaged looking at his future, and all of a sudden, a new skin was put on the back burner. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. This is the timing right now, right? We talk to the people we love and we care about the most, and we want them to get it, right? But he got distracted, and it wasn't the right time for him. And you know what he said to me, Mom? I can't follow in your and Dad's footsteps. I have to carve my way on my own. So he's working the insurance business right now. He's doing really well. He's providing a great home for his family, but it owns him. He has no time freedom. And every year, the quote is raised and the bar is set higher. And we're starting to see him getting burned out on that, right? So remember, it's not our job to drag people along, right? Especially our family and our our friends that we love the most. Our job is to instill a vision and then lead by example and make it happen. And when the time is right for them, they'll do it. Now it doesn't mean I'm quiet, right? I'm always saying a little of this and a little of that. A little here and a little there. We want to stay connected and involved. Another defining moment. One thing that you want to understand is that each of us have our own strengths that we bring to the table, right? Nobody is like anybody else. We're all just a little bit different. And when I got started, everybody was doing these five packages with these five blue bags. And it wasn't my personality. It wasn't my nature to do that. Today, we have a system in One Team Global that helps you and supports you every step of the way, right? Whether they get the best value and run with the business and do the buy three, get one free, right? Or they start with one package. I started with one package. What I found my niche was is that I love people, I love relationships, and I like to educate. So what I did, what helped me be successful is exactly 
what we do in One Team Global, and that is to create a culture and a system of success. So in my daycare room, in my garage, I started to build a culture without even realizing what I was doing. So every Monday night at seven o'clock, and at that time I'm embarrassed to say we put pound cake out, sliced it up, put a bottle of Alhambra water, and we had an hour and a half meeting. I was never sick. I never missed it. I never had a conflict in the schedule. No matter what, I didn't miss it. And it seemed like forever that there was only four of us and then five of us. And I remember when I put my chair in the front because I didn't want the women talking about their kids, right? This is serious, big business. And I wanted people to talk about the results with the products and I wanted to balance the business in. And I had a goal to become a blue diamond in one year. Right? From executive, took a year, that was important, foundation, building confidence, understanding the power of the business. But once I flew back from a conference like this, I made a decision. And it, quite frankly, is as simple as that. Nobody wanted it more than me. And people nicknamed me Mama New Skin. And I didn't like it. I didn't like that, but you know what? I believed in it that much that I was talking about it. And so in my little daycare room, it grew, right? 30 and 40 people stuffed into this little garage, had a plexiglass window my brother-in-law put in it for me. And I'll tell you, I went and hit my chicken list. My neighbor across the street was the most successful in our neighborhood. And I walked across the street when he was walking out to the mailbox, and I went up to him, one of my defining moments, right? And I don't remember his name now. I'm sorry about that. I'd love to go back and talk to him. But I was standing on the street. He was on the sidewalk. He's taller than me. I'm looking up. And I'm telling him there is a big business opportunity here. I've been wanting to talk to you. You have to come over. I'm going to sit down. I want to show you a video tape and whatever I'm saying. And he goes, Risa, I'm never going to do it. How do you know? You don't even know what, it, what it's about yet. I haven't even told you. He said, honey, I can tell. I know about these things. I know about business. It's just not for me. I'm not telling you it's a bad thing. I'm just telling you it's not the direction of my life. But this is what I am going to tell you. I want you to call me when you're at the top of this company. Because there's no question in my mind that you're going to be there. And I hope that I believe that. I chose to believe it. And I went home and I said, Matt, guess what? He said, I'm going to the top. Guess what? I believe him. Guess what? It's going to happen because we have the right company here. There are so many stories. Let's see. I'll tell you one about Japan. Two things about our lion in Japan. One, do you ever feel like someone tells you about somebody that they want you to talk to that has potential and uh, you want to be everywhere and anywhere, right? Anywhere and everywhere. You follow the energy. So we were up in Portland, Oregon, and I was visiting Nancy, who is my college roommate, our first Blue Diamond. Uh, she has a group here and uh, a wonderful leader in the business. I was going to see her. But somebody else, not that she had told me to talk to, but somebody else suggested that I go to lunch with this guy. So I'm at lunch and I'm knowing it's not going anywhere, right? Pretty soon I'm going, okay, I'm gonna go meet Nancy and you know, whatever he was talking about, there was no energy there. And then before we got up to, to finish this lunch, he said, you know, I have an import-export business and we're doing business in Japan. And I had a, I had my business partner ask me about Newsman and say it was coming to Japan. This was a year before the market opened. And I said, really? I sat back down. I want to talk to you about that business partner, right? Before he quit, this guy from Salem, Oregon, he went out to the convention out here in Salt Lake City. It was powerful. 
It was like a meeting like this. And I'm going to tell you, at the end, he said, you know what? You can never be successful with this because they want $10 for a cleansing lotion. You can go to Safeway and buy a cleansing lotion. I kept telling him. I kept talking to him. I would call him when I got home. He couldn't get over the cost of a cleansing lotion. <laughs> but before he quit, he sponsored somebody who sponsored somebody. And today, we have more Blue Diamonds, more Team Elites in Japan than we can count. Okay? And we have become friends with the culture and with the people. We had a big group from Japan come to our house. Another exciting moment for me. Our boys were little. And they brought some of their children, and two of them were our boys' age. And I said, Justin, play with the kids. And he said, Mom, they don't speak English. I don't speak Japanese. I said, you know what? Just show them your rollerblades. You put the rollerblades on and go out, and you guys show them how to rollerblade. You'll figure it out. They were gone all day. They were best friends. Nobody spoke the language, and they connected. And that's who New Skin is. We connect with cultures and people all over the world. We build relationships. We work with everybody and anybody because remember, it's not about you. It's not about the perfect thing you say. It's not about your presentation. It doesn't have to be anything more than somebody being at the right place at the right time in their life and connecting with a company like New Skin Enterprises that cares about each and every one of us. Um, we had the privilege to go to Africa. I thought this presentation that was given today was the very best I've ever seen about who we are as a company being a force for good in the world. And it, was, it was my dream to go to Africa. We finally went two years ago, and I can tell you that I thought I understood what we do. I thought I understood the difference that we're making. But nothing had an impact on me. Like the fact that these people had walked for hours and hours to get what looked like just stacks and stacks of vitamin oil bags. And, and I knew we were doing such great work and they were singing and dancing and, and their village chief had given them a ticket to get a bag of food. But you know what? There wasn't enough. And people were not able to have a bag that would feed their child for a month. And I'm going to tell you, they never pushed and shoved. Right? They were singing and dancing and thankful and filled with gratitude. gratitude. But there still wasn't enough. And I knew that we could do more. So I want to thank you Thank New Skin for this overwhelming feeling of gratitude I have that I am inspired each and every day to be a force for good in the world. And by sharing this product and this opportunity and the mission of this company, we do just that. And with that, I want to introduce to you my partner, my best friend, and without Matt, we would never be where we are today. With that, Matt Salter. All right, that's my soulmate of 30 plus years. You know, let's put, let's, let's put this in perspective. You know, I, I'm an educator, I'm a school teacher, I don't like sales. She sold me on the first date, I knew I wanted to marry her, all right? I mean, I was done right there. I'm, that's, I'm serious, I'm not making that up. I do that. As soon as I found out her birthday was on the same day as mine, I said, you know what, that's destiny. It has to be. But as I, as I look at this journey with New Skin, you know, I have to reflect back to Blake Maroney because I think he's the, he's the guy. He's the genius. He's the genius behind the pure genius in New Skin because if you look at the business model, no doubt it's the most powerful in the world. But the way he's put this program together, I really wonder sometimes if you ever thought it was going to be this big. You probably thought it was going to be bigger. We're going to be much bigger. We're going to hit that $10 billion mark. But Blake Roney is the one that really got my attention because he just had something that was intangible. And when I went to that first convention, I listened to what he had to say about 
bring your family along with this business. This is about integrity. This is about honesty. It's about humility. It's about how you behave. It's about who you become. Those kind of things really inspired me. I thought, you know, if you can make money, residual income with this business, and do those things, why wouldn't you want a piece of that? So thank you, Blake Roney. And many of you probably not had a chance to meet him because he's been on a mission, but I'll tell you what, incredible person behind this company. So let's back up a little bit. Let's go back to the beginning when I was negative. I mean, yeah, I'm not the brightest guy in the world, right? And I was like, uh, hey, listen, I don't want any time freedom. I don't want to build a legacy. I don't want any residual income. You know what's going on right there? It was, I put the business in a box, okay? Because you go to college, you get a business degree, and you've got aspirations of working for a big company and climbing that ladder and having a corner office. And that's the way you think. And this business is so foreign. Wait a second, there's not even an office to go to. That doesn't make any sense. Who wants to do that? It's like when I quit my job, my boss said, do you realize you're going to be with your wife now 24 hours a day? <laughs> I said, let me tell you, I considered that, okay? I definitely considered that. I thought it all the way through. What he didn't know was we were already spending every single minute together before I did quit doing this business. It's like Reese, you know, Reese didn't tell you about all the plants in the house that died, okay? Because there was no time to do anything. I thought, you know what, we're moving out of this place anyway. Good not just do the deal. So, what made me come around is when I told her that she couldn't do it. Or I didn't say she couldn't do it. I said, you know, I just was kind of hard on her. I don't really like this whole concept. I don't think it's going to work. It inspired her to know in. This woman, you tell her she can't do something, she's going to do it. Okay? <laughs> and as the income started to come in, that first executive check that was $1,200, she doesn't know this, but that got my attention because our mortgage was $800. This is back in 1989. That was, that was money to us. So the next month, the check comes in, it's 2000 then it's 2800 then it jumps to 3800 and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this thing is taking off. I could see it. This, Lisa was in her zone, okay? She was in her zone. She was starting to own this business. The next month, the check comes, it's 4700 then it's 6200 That's when I started thinking, I need to get my name on this check in soon, right? <laughs> And I thought, yeah, I thought carefully, how am I going to approach this? You know, I've got to be tactical about this. I thought about if I was Risa, how would I handle that? And she was so forgiving when she said, all you got to do is quit your job. Your name will go on that check. We even put it first. Amazing. It was amazing. But the money did get my attention. It got me excited about the possibilities. And as all that was taking place, she was smart. When, when leaders would come to town... I mean, these are the founding, these are founding leaders of the company, okay? We're talking about people like Richard Call, or his, or his father. He was a master storyteller. When he came to San Francisco, she said, you know, I really think you should go to this presentation. She knew what she was doing. She wanted me to catch the vision. And I'd go, and there was, back then, I'll tell you, there must have been 500 people at that meeting. And uh, I listened to Richard talk, and what he said is he just said, you know, this will give you everything you want out of your life. This will give you your dreams. I thought, well, I'm starting to see that because your money's coming in. That's certainly happening. But here's what, here's what cracked him you know, up. He just said, you know what you got to do is you got to present, 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 and then when you're done presenting, you got to present some more. And he goes, if people don't show up, you present to your dog. <laughs> I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, really? Do that. So I got that message. Another guy comes to town, Dr. Hung Tai Wong. This guy was a master of the business. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Incredible man. Did incredible things for this, for this company. But I went to this presentation and he said one thing that caught my attention. He said, you're going to need a PhD in psychology to be able to be successful with this business. You're going to need to understand people. If you don't have that, you're going to earn it as you do this business. You're going to have to figure it out. And I know today that's probably the most, the most important attribute of this business. It's powerful to gain that. There's people down here on this level right here to get that whole picture. People start to get it as you get involved, you get to Ruby. People don't tell you the truth, do they? It's not that they're not lying on purpose, they just really don't want to tell you how they really feel. We have to dig down a little bit and find out what makes people tick. So that hit home. Then there was Craig T, Craig Tillotson. I go to the presentation he does, he's talking, this guy's a very clever presenter, right? Those of you that heard him, I mean, in his day, he was, he was incredible. <laughs> I'll 